What's happening everybody? So we're doing part of today's workout inside the house um, because it's peeing down and rain outside and it's snatching overhead work and um, hold on. There we go. And uh, we don't have room in the gym, head, the head height in the gym to be snatching overhead. So well, I would have to do it outdoors. I would just crack on in the rain, but today I don't really feel like getting soaking wet. So we're doing it in the front room, which adds its risks. You know, you've got TV there, could end in utter disaster. But yeah, you probably can't really tell, but it's, it's a bit of a, a dreary and, uh, and uh, drizzly day outside. Not a nice day for snatching outside. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And don't swim in the sea. Incredibly, people have been spotted in the water here in Black Rock and Salt Hill, both today and yesterday. So, we're doing five rounds of uh, one power snatch and then one hang snatch. Rest 20 seconds, repeat that, that's one round. Three minutes rest, repeat for five rounds. down to the gym with the plates because now we're going to move into heavy squats back squats so I need the squat rack for it so back down we go but at least extra but at least it's extra steps I suppose a few moments later okay so here's what we're doing with the back squats we're doing two rounds, back, one back squat at 90%, then rest 30 seconds, two back squats at 80%, rest 60 seconds, three back squats at 70%, rest three minutes, um, and it's for two rounds. So it's, uh, <clears throat> the percentages are percentages of your one rep max, in case you're wondering. So that's what we're doing. So I've got 90 kilos on the bar for the first one, 80 for the second, 70 for the third um, and uh, feeling pretty good.
moments later. I was having a conversation with a client this morning and we've been working on strengthening her core. Um, she started with me and you know since she started training, moving more, she does a lot of sitting down at work, she's she was experiencing some lower back pain. So we've started to heavily focus our sessions around strengthening her core, stretching her hips, strengthening her glutes, all of the key areas which tend to typically be, if weak, affect the lower back. And she was saying to me that, you know, she's been to see a physio about it recently, and the physio said that, you know, she had still had slight separation of her abdominals, and her daughter is now, um, I think, nine years old, so like, last pregnant she had was nine years ago and I was saying how crazy it is really and how I think it's quite bad look obviously pregnancies are hugely common women having babies is hugely common so it's not looked at I don't think as necessarily a big thing a woman's body should be able to do this um, and you know it's not not much as thought of it um, I think she actually had a cesarean section as well Katie's had two cesarean sections <clears throat> and which is even worse um, and it's just how you're kind of expected to go home and kind of get on with it and there's no aftercare in terms of how your body recovers maybe if after cesarean section they come they check your scar make sure that's healing okay okay great but they don't do any kind of aftercare in terms of strengthening what's been weakened through carrying that baby um, now if you broke your hand and after your hand, if you had, a, had to have an operation on it and it healed, then they'd send you along to a physio for however many sessions they feel is necessary for you to get your hand working properly again. But they don't do the same thing with women who've had a baby with like their core muscles. You know, and what ends up happening, like in my client's case, they've never strengthened and focused on that because they didn't know anything about it because maybe they're thinking, oh, well, you know, it's women's body, we have babies, everything goes back to normal, everything's absolutely fine, so I don't need to do anything. But most women do need to do something. You need to re-strengthen all around your core so that you don't end up having back problems down the line like this client currently is suffering from. Now it's something that I'm pretty confident that we can sort out, but some women, if they go on to have two, three, four more labors, more births, carry more children, then the, da the damage and they don't repair in between those pregnancies, then the damage just gets more and more and more and more. And that's why, you know, you see a woman, she's onto her third baby, and six months into that pregnancy, she's basically crippled. Some women even have to use crutches and stuff because their back is completely screwed because they've had no support in between of building up that core strength to re-support their back again and putting them in a good position again to go into to carry in a baby, but also just for life afterwards. And I think this is one of the major things that the NHS don't support people on. Maybe it's because it's tricky because there's so many pregnancies that it's hard to support when there's such a great number of it. But my thing is, the chances are actually in the long run, that might actually save them money. Because if you take one of these women, like my client for example, she's now come to me. She's also going to a physio. We're working together to sort these things out. Someone else might not do that. They might not be able to afford to do that. They might not think about doing that. They might not put two and two together and think, oh, maybe it's where I had a baby and I need to strengthen this stuff. Maybe they just start to think, I'm getting old. My body's not in great shape. So like my client as well, probably her general lifestyle stuff doesn't necessarily help in terms of she works at a computer, at a desk a lot. So if you've now already got a weak core, potentially from having a baby, never to re-strengthened it, now a lot of your day consists of having to sit down to do with what you do for a living, that's only going to make matters worse, which is probably the majority of people. So what then later on happens down the line, if this person doesn't go away and try and do anything about it, maybe, like I've got an older client who she's, you know, her, her eldest children are like in their early 20s as far as I know, and they might, she's now got a bulging disc which could maybe have been caused from pregnancy, from carrying the children. And if she had strengthened her core and been taught and told how to buy the NHS and follow up care and stuff like that, 
then maybe she wouldn't have this bulging disc later on down the line. Which again, we're trying to work around, trying to fix, trying to strengthen her core. But if things get worse, that person might end up having to go to have an operation, which chances are is probably going to cost the NHS a lot more money to do that. So my thing is, if we give these women the education and support, it doesn't have to necessarily be sending every pregnant woman to see a physio. It could even be maybe that their midwife that comes out to do the health checks and stuff has just had more training on how to, how to teach women what to do. Now I understand a lot of the NHS is underfunded, understaffed, so maybe these people already have enough on their plate, but it's just something I think that is incredibly undervalued and underlooked at, is that I believe that women need more support with this thing so that it doesn't get to the point where they have chronic lower back pain or maybe even end up having a bulging disc and stuff like that. And I think a lot of that can be stopped if they're just taught once you've had a baby, whether it was, you know, a normal quote unquote like vaginal birth or whether it was a cesarean section or whether it was having to use forceps or some other intervention. These are the steps you need to follow to help your core recover. These are the things you need to focus on and this is why. Because you'll get lots of women that won't do any of that stuff anyway. I mean, I know people that go to see a physio because they've got a dodgy shoulder, the physio gives them a load of exercises to do and they don't do them. So you've gone there for this person to supply you with a solution to your problem and you're not listening to their advice. Now I understand there'll be a lot of women that probably still wouldn't go away and do those things, but that's where again, it's important to make them aware of the potential consequences of not following that advice. You know, you're gonna potentially end up with lower back problems. You, you know, which is may, maybe okay now while you're a bit younger as a mum, but maybe in 10, 15, 20 years time, depending on other lifestyle factors, like I said, if you spend a lot of time sitting down at a desk, that's not gonna help anyway, regardless of having a baby, having to carry a baby. It's just making them more aware and more aware of what they need to do. And I feel like that is something that massively needs to be improved. And if you are a mum and you're watching this and you do suffer a little bit with lower back pain, then that's what you need to do. You need to go away, you need to find somebody that's gonna help you, whether that's a physio, whether that's Pilates, whether that's a personal trainer, whether that's a friend who is very educated on exercising and stuff like that. Go away and find the right information to know what to need to do in order to strengthen your core so that your body can be in a good state as you grow older. Don't just accept, which I think a lot of people do, when they get lower back pain, this woman's had three children, she gets into her 50s, children are all teenagers or older, and she just goes and accepts it and says, you know what, yeah, I carried three kids, so I've got lower back pain that I'm just gonna live with now for the rest of my days. It doesn't have to be that way, okay? And go away, seek out the advice, get the support, and start strengthening your core so that you can reduce that knock-on effect after having kids.